stroke is a sudden brain injury caused by a blood vessel problem. And there's two common um, types of strokes out there for the community to be aware of. The first is what is called an ischemic stroke, and that's where clot or debris blocks up a blood vessel in the brain, and due to lack of blood flow, the tissue beyond um, the blockage quickly dies. That is by far the most common, affecting about 85% of all people. The other type of stroke is what's called a hemorrhagic stroke, and that is where a blood vessel in the brain um, ruptures or bursts and it dispenses blood in or around the brain. Much less common, affecting only about 15% of people, but carries a much higher likelihood of um, dying up front. There are many common causes of stroke out there. The most common by far is high blood pressure just because of its frequency in society. And diabetes mellitus, high cholesterol, obesity, smoking, alcohol, abuse, several others, atrial fibrillation of the regular heart rhythm with advancing age, carotid artery disease where there's blockages in the neck arteries, and then last we, sh we shouldn't forget about brain aneurysm, so abnormal um, blood vessels within the brain that can burst at any given time. There's many risk factors, many of which are highly modifiable, and I always tell people about 80% or so of strokes are preventable, so if you can identify um, these common risk factors and do something about it, um, you can dramatically reduce your risk um, before uh, and avoid um, that devastating stroke. More recently, it's been shown that um, stroke in young individuals, so individuals um, less than age 65 and particularly less than age 45, is becoming much more common. And it turns out that many of, uh, or much of this increase is related to many of these individuals now have the same risk factors that their older counterparts of the past had, particularly high blood pressure, um, diabetes. One of the most important things one can do if they are having a stroke is recognize the common signs and symptoms. And there's an acronym out there that has been popularized called BFAST, B-E-F-A-S-T. The importance of the T time, 911 gets you the best care. Um, it automatically gets a team to be present on, on your arrival. Um, in busy emergency departments in today's time, it gets you into a room where specialists can quickly look at you. And um, with the current care teams, people can be assessed and treatments can be given within a half hour to an hour. Two million cells um, per minute die. So you can imagine how important that time is, um, but two million cells per minute. 